Hey everyone, Kale Beck here from StartingStrongMan.com with a little training. This is from a Strongman Sunday that I put on and uh, one of my clients, Coulter, came out. Here's a start off with log press because you got to start off with log press. Trying to get some jerks back in. Um, still feels a little unstable, so I'm just practicing with lightweight for now and continuing to do the strict work uh, until I get comfortable so I can put up some big weights by later this year for something. So this is just like 145, just some practice. Using the Cerberus Extreme, uh, again, I really like them. Here's 165, and, feel, you know, it's feeling pretty good. You make, you can see when I dip, I, I put my knees out and my stance is slightly wider than normal. I feel like this really helps with the log. And on this, uh, Coulter asked me some questions. He had just missed 185 before this, so... Uh huh. Elbows be out as well. Mm hmm. So you're gonna open up your upper chest too. I feel like I come in like this too. Yeah. Okay. Well, it puts a lot of strain on your front delt then, which is fine. But the strength in the upper body is in this tie-in or the shoulder. Yeah. It ties into the upper so I back. Need to be able to come out then. Yeah. I, I go like this, and you and you actually it lets you transfer some of weight to your lats because you're spreading here. Right. So like I'll unrack a bar, I'll show you on this one later, like I step into it and wedge myself in there. Okay. And then like I'm taut, like I'm like a spring before I even unrack it. Here I'm just like all fucking loose and bullshit. Yeah, loose and to do one motion and what I was like, trying to explain to him is uh, scapular retraction he had, like I said he had missed 185 and we just made a couple little uh, changes he's still not completely uh, in scapular retraction you see his elbows are still in a little bit uh, basically right now he just needs to continue to build up his upper back and lat strength to be able to really take advantage of it but then he hits it 185 for three strict and it was just technique you know this is about second third time he's used a log and it went up to 205 and for here i just did my top set strict again did 195 for four uh, a week ago so just wanted to test myself see if i could do you know over body weight strict again and was able to a little still not completely in line uh, side to side as far as my strength goes, but happy with it overall. We set up a fun medley using the Strength Shop yoke. There's so many ways you can use it. We did a about 380, 370 pounds Zerker carry into two sandbags. They're really light. I need to fill up a couple of my sandbags. I think they're around 80 and 120 or 100 and 140. Honestly, I don't know. Um, need to get to them, but I... I'm trying to do more medley work um, on my strongman Sundays and less of the stuff that kind of grinds and kills you. And then we have to go back because you have to go back. Uh, I, I really feel like these kind of events are a lot more fun and not as taxing on, you know, doing heavy loads. Just doing the yoke walk uh, last week really killed my body. And here I go. I don't know why I started with my feet wide, but I did. But, yeah, it's just... Uh, fun to go outside do a little bit of training and not really you know if you're if you're in off season you should throw more of this stuff in uh, because you don't want to just be constantly doing all of the heavy stuff and if you want to be prepared for a medley and uh, be more athletic and strongman as well not just it's not just log press deadlift and grueling heavy yoke walks finished it off with some grip Another way to not beat yourself up and still get some training in this is an old style rolling thunder. Uh, this is a hundred, um, I think in about 30 pounds, doing sets of five. Probably a PR for me because honestly I haven't done it much. I'd like to work up to about 160 or so, but this is about my limit for now. You know, I don't have the biggest hands. Uh, grip isn't my strong suit, but that's exactly why I should train it some more. Plus, it's going to give you some big forearms. I feel like as far as grip implements go, that carry over to actual strongman events, I, I think the Rolling Thunder is probably right up there with what's going to 
carry over. You know, with the thicker diameter, you can't cheat it too much with the wrist because it rolls. Uh, it's just brutal. And I think it carries over really well. And Baron Coulter is just a... It helps when you're 6'5 and have big hands and size 17 feet when you're doing grip events because this is the first time he's ever done it and it's just easy for him. Um, some of the stuff I want to mention as far as this is a... I mean, it, this, this is about a week old, this training video, uh, but just haven't had the time. Going to be doing a full write-up on uh, the Strength Shop Yoke this weekend and kind of reviewing a lot more of the equipment and gear that I have and use for Strongman. Uh, so if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm, I'm also going to start offering 12-week contest prep packages for $250. That's a little less, uh, you know, personalized than the one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you just want like a program to follow with some basic instruction um, and one week you know, once a week, uh, emails, updates, and, and stuff, then you can do that. But go to store.startingstrongman.com to check that out and all of your other strongman needs. Click the links in the bio to our sponsors, and thank you for supporting, and hit subscribe.